right guys welcome back to the channel so I'm gonna do a quick little video from about my perspective about daily driving a Jeep as a family with three kids you know again th this is my opinion you may not feel this way this is just the way I see things and the conveniences or the inconveniences so this list is subjective but um, yeah with that said let's get into the video All right, so let's get into this list. So keep in mind, this whole list is subjective. You may not feel this way because your needs may differ from mine. This is my own personal opinion and my own perspective. Um, first and foremost, the one thing that drives me absolutely bonkers is the lack of storage, or any room for that matter. But uh, you can see here, it's two handfuls, worth, not even two handfuls worth of storage in the back. You can't even really fit groceries in there and little like my even my kids backpacks don't want to fit in there but whatever that's that's a jeep thing that's a, a two-door jeep thing you don't expect it to be roomy inside right i mean at least i didn't um but yeah that's uh probably that's probably one of my biggest gripes with this thing these are not in any particular order these are just i'm thinking about them as i'm stating them so next we have let me get my key out of my pocket here. Let me get a key. This little, this little feature drives me crazy because there's nothing worse than when you're driving on a snowy road and you know you gotta turn your wipers on. Most vehicles you have that intermittent so you can turn it on. Well, with Jeep it's either on or off. There is no in between. <laughs> so yeah, you kind of get used to that pretty quick you know drive with one hand ready to go especially around here where we get a lot of snow where it's being kicked up from vehicles in front of you but whatever that's neither here nor there uh next on my list is the factory stereo it is absolutely atrocious keep in mind a lot of what i'm talking about about the stereo is most likely due to the roof you know having a, a composite material roof not steel no no real structure so of course it's gonna play into that but the stereo I actually don't even know where the front speakers are to be honest I I think it's down here I think these are the uh, front speakers down here I haven't uh, pulled the dash apart but uh, I'm gonna pull those apart and I'm gonna put some better speakers behind my head some in there and I I don't know I might do a, a small subwoofer in the back since I can't fit anything else in there anyways um, but yeah, that's, um, it's, aside from that, it's fine. I mean, it gets decent reception and whatnot. I guess that's kind of a small feature, but you just can't bloody well hear it. You gotta crank it way up on the highway. Um, and right in line with that is the noise that these things have on the highway. Like, I, I spend a lot of time on the highway for work. Sometimes I'll bring hearing protection if I know I'm gonna be doing, you know, 120 kilometers an hour. What is that? 70 miles an hour or faster I'm, I'm gonna bring hearing protection because it just gets irritating after so long especially when you're on the highway for a couple of hours right okay another thing that gripes me about this thing is first gear this might sound silly to a lot of you guys but as you can tell where I live there's hills I live in the mountains quite literally I live in a hole in the mountains so a lot of the time I end up having to stop on a hill and in order to get going I have to ride the clutch so much because first gear is so tall that it uh it just it wants to stall out and granted I got the 2.5 so there's not a lot of torque to begin with but yeah aside from that it's again it's subjective you may not feel that especially if you live in a a flatter environment but for me I, I notice it especially on one of the main hills that I have to stop at to come home it's um, it's pretty steep one more thing that my daughter of all people it drives her crazy she's seven so her opinion matters um, 
She doesn't like the fact that there's no power windows and no power locks. I have to manually walk around and unlock the doors every time we come back from somewhere. And that kind of drives her crazy. And yes, you can add kits, you know, power lock kits and stuff. But I'm talking basically about it being in stock form, you know, like people want to get into jeeping and don't necessarily want to modify them right off the bat. This is these are just things to keep in mind from, you know, somebody that's been daily driving one and I daily drive one with three children. So, you know, yes, it's not the most practical thing, but it works. We like to go out in the bush. We like to go exploring. It's perfect. Is it great for grocery shopping or buying a piece of furniture? Absolutely not. There's there's no way. Yes, I guess I could fold the rear seat down and, you know, get some room back there but then I got to unbuckle car seats and it just becomes a whole lot more work than it's really worth um my Hummer was the same way I always complained about it was the straight up and down windshield it's okay granted yes it's like a uh, cardboard box going down the road <laughs> you know like it, all kinds of drag but forget about the drag for a minute I mean look at the rock chips this is just from me spending time on the highway for work I can count let's see one two three, four, five, six, I, at least 10 right off the bat I can count without even really focusing on the windshield. They just catch every rock on the road because they're so straight up and down. You know, other vehicles, they have a little bit more aerodynamics and creates that little wind channel for things to miss. Well, Jeep doesn't have that. It just hits it bang on. Well guys, it never seems to fail. So I've been running this Cooler Master 750 watt power supply and this morning I edited some video last night and went to edit some video this morning and I got nothing. I'll show you that I'm plugged in here. Do the power switch. We've got nothing. My advice, stay away from Cooler Master. This is the second product of theirs I've had go bad on me in the last month. As if you've seen my last video, my water cooler went bad on me and I ended up having to grab a Corsair. So yeah, fingers crossed that nothing else in there got damaged, didn't from a motherboard or anything. So I guess we're heading down to get a power supply. Well, after a series of unfortunate events and getting the power supply tested, I pulled the old one out, had it tested, wasn't the only problem. So power, power supply was dead along with another component. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you what I got here. All right, yep, as you guessed it, it took out my MSI B460 motherboard and I replaced it with the Asus Prime Z590P. So not an ideal situation, but uh, it didn't take out my graphics card or my CPU. So for that, I guess I'm happy. So now I can get back to editing. So let me get back into this. And before I forget, the reason I'm going back with another Cooler Master power supply is, for one, they warrantied that one. And two, all they had in stock was uh, 500 watt power supplies and I need 750 or 850. So this is 750. It's going to hold me over until I get my Corsair. Yes, I ordered a Corsair modular one. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to drop this topic. Let's get back into the video. Um, what else do we got? Fuel economy. Let's talk about that for a minute. So let me reset my odometer here. So fuel economy. Yeah, this guy, as we know, every place around North America right now is dealing with crazy gas prices right now. And believe it or not, to fill this tiny little Jeep, it cost me almost $85 to fill this thing right now. And you're not gonna believe this. I'm lucky if I can go 320 kilometers on that. Yeah, you, you didn't hear that wrong. That's that's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> you know, like that's almost as bad as my my Ram 1500 was. Not quite, but getting pretty close. Um, yeah, so it's it's terrible on fuel. Okay, it's not. Yeah, it's terrible, and it's the high gas prices right now that are that are doing it. If fuel was cheaper you know, $50 to go 300 kilometers. That's a little bit more bearable, but 80, $85 to go 300 kilometers. It's pretty bad. Okay. Now let's talk about a few things on the outside that absolutely drive me bonkers. Again, these things can be 
fixed, you know, with a few simple modifications. And the one of the biggest things that I'm actually trying to get my hands on right now is a set of aftermarket headlights because these guys, because these guys are bloody terrible at night. You can't see anything. And that, like I said, I'm in the mountains, so we have a lot of wild. Yeah, that's the uh, biggest thing on the exterior. Another thing kind of in line with the front wiper is the rear wiper is trash. It gets this tiny little spot right here. It's this, this tiny little spot. It's okay, I mean, it does a job, but it leaves all of this. Granted, it's kind of blocked by my kid's car seat right now, but it doesn't touch anything right here. You can see the spotting on the windshield there, but um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's little things. These are minor things, you know. That don't let any of these discourage you from buying a Jeep. This is just my perspective about what I feel. And, you know, yes, these all have a purpose, you know. There's no manual, there's no power locks. It's to avoid electronics, you know, same as the mirrors. Yeah, the, the no power mirrors, that kind of drives me crazy, you know. You bump a branch on your mirror, now you got to stop and adjust your mirror. But that's all done for a reason. That's so when you're... You know, you're out wheeling these things, having fun, exploring, adventuring. Let me get back inside. It's getting windy here. You don't have to worry about electronics failing. You know, there, there's no seat sensors in these things. There's, there's, there's not even a door ajar sensor. Yes, it's, there's a, the light, but you can unplug that, you know, or better. I, it, it's just every essential part just like jeep stands for that's exactly what this is it's nothing more nothing less and like i said do not let this discourage you from buying a jeep i absolutely love it and i can't wait for some of my mods to start showing up so so i am going to do a video about the things i do like about the jeep but uh as you can tell, the wind is picking up substantially here, and I, I wanted to film it all and get it all done in one take, but I want to be outside for the next part because that's where the majority of the good stuff comes in. So I'm going to have to postpone that bit, and you know what? That'll give me a chance to fine-tune my list as well. So, um, yeah, with that being said, don't let any of this stuff discourage you. Like I said again, I'll say it again. So, yeah, like... Like I said, you know, we love it. My family, my kids and I, we make do with it. You know, as far as like groceries not fitting, I do grocery shopping when they're in school. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, so with that said, I'm gonna um, quit blabbing on. I'm gonna end this here. If you guys like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe because coming up in the very, 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 very near future, I have some pretty dang exciting news, so. You're not going to want to miss this. So yeah, till next time. Peace out.